let's go over some pieces of advice I would give to a student working through an FRQ question. FRQ stands for free response question, and this is typically where students have to explain, write down useful sentences, write a paragraph in their response. Now, typically these FRQs can be divided into short and long answers where the short is just looking for a couple sentences while the long is looking for like a paragraph or more. And each individual content area might have different versions of these FRQs, but again, you're just basically writing down your response. The first and really important piece of advice I would give students is make sure you understand what the question's asking. I like to tell students, reread the question several times so you know what the question's asking. A lot of times students will read the question once and think they know what the question's asking, but they misunderstand it and they just write a response that's not even answering the question. So make sure you understand what the question's asking before you actually write your response. And before you write down your response, plan it out in your head. Even just a quick 20, 30 seconds of thinking about the answer before you write it can help you conceptualize and figure out what you want to write down. And please, I know grammar and English aren't everyone's strength, but write in full sentences and get to the point. As a teacher, I don't like reading a lot of fluff in these questions. Just get to the point, answer the question, and as well, use vocab words. Using those specific vocab words that you learned in class show that you understand and you learn something from the lesson. There's also a big skill of using your time wisely, this time management on test, looking at how much you have to write, planning it out, making sure you have enough time to answer questions later on. But having that skill of how to use time on a test is really important so students get to all of the questions. And lastly, when you're finishing these FRQ style questions, if you have time, reread your answer, make sure it conceptually makes sense, make sure there's no grammatical mistakes. Finding small little errors and fixing them really does make a difference when the teacher is grading them. I hope this helps students answer these FRQ questions. I know they can be daunting, but Good luck on your tests.